Alright, so we just gotta get up to the rooftop. Good thing there are all these convenient ladders nearby. Man, that could be a real pain if they weren't doing construction here. Now, we've gotta find his apartment, right? Oh, it's right across this rooftop. How similarly handy. If only I had the ability to jump three feet in the air, I could easily leap between these buildings. Oh, it's the girl. The augmentations. Yeah, this is going, buddy. So, oh wait, 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 wait. He's coming nearby. Just turn around. That's all you need to do. Turn around. No one is here. That's right, the door was blown open by the wind. The wind says hello. Alright, good times. So we knocked him out, now we just gotta plant the drugs in his apartment. The perfect crime. Now we could return to May, but I think uh, I'm actually gonna complete our main objective before we continue too much further. Mostly because our main objective we can complete from the rooftops. Yes, you can become- you too can become a roof ninja, leaping around from rooftop to rooftop, and I realized what upgrade I've been ignoring thus far. How could I have forgotten about it? You need the ability to bust through walls. Oh man, that is, it's a pretty cool ability, and it's one that we actually use, so it's good to have it. It's fairly noisy, though, so it's not one that you use on missions, it's mostly just something you use, well, when you're trying to get around. Now, we want to hack into this security system, I think. If not this one, one of the nearby ones. Anyway, get some clearance, get the transfer. Oh, good, it fortified the security system. Access Luckily, I haven't been spotted because I am a stealthy hacker, so I'm all right there. And see, and now it just shows you you can punch through this wall. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're all out there. Nope, disregard. Nothing happened, don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> okay, so punching through walls, not always the best move, but it appears that it hasn't really done too badly for me. No, not eyes open. Go back to normal. Okay, so I screwed that up royally, but it's still possible to get through without too many issues. I'm just gonna sneak through this ventilation system. Here we go. Now we need to get up to the penthouse. But before we get to the penthouse, we're gonna want to go to the ground floor, trust me. Now, you could go to the ground floor by climbing down ladders, or you could just jump. Now if you go under here, hey, one practice for you. Absolutely free, don't need to do anything else to get it. It's just there, it's handy, it's perfect. But it's easy to miss too, so don't forget about it if you're playing through the game. It's a really easy practice to get, and you have to head this way anyway, so there's really no reason not to. Now, go ahead and go up this ladder. Or rather, this sequence of ladders. There's just a bunch of them. Look at this elevator shaft. This is one of the most... Oh, ridiculous elevator shafts. I swear. Nobody needs this many. Oh, look, the elevator. Yeah, we probably could have taken that. Um, but that's the easy way to do it. I don't like the easy way. Can I jump up there? Using this box and my ability to have mad hops? I can. And there's something actually up here. I didn't actually know about this. This is cool. I like it. Okay, so everybody's still alarmed because I punched through a wall back there. But what's through here? I'm going to quick save because I've never been this way before. Am I in the apartment? Oh no, I'm at the end of the hallway that the apartment is in. Is this the apartment? No, this is the one next to it. wonder if there's anything in here. Not much. No walls to punch through either though, so I suppose I can't screw this one up. Oh. Uh, any way to get outside? Doesn't appear so, so I can't go in through the, uh, the ventilation system, but what am I trying to say? You know what I mean, surely. Anyway, 
If you move that vending machine, you will have a nice little vent here that you can crawl through. This is my most common method of getting into the home here. Now, just be very careful of all the individuals in this apartment. Kind of climb through here into his base. Good. They couldn't figure out how to get through his door, so they just blasted through the wall. Uh, no code for windmills, so we're going to try to hack this before they spot us. Oh, Jesus, come on. Really? A big one? Don't want them to spot me. Oh, no. Uh, the security system's gone off. That's okay. It's still got 30 seconds until it spots us, so we're fine. Okay, information. Get all the emails. Get word to Get out of here. The hacker who's been attacking us goes by the handle Windmill. Real name's Ari Van Bruggen. Bell Tower's been brought into Van Bru him. The Arrest Dutchman. Naturally. Of. Either way, he found out someone was gunning for him and took off. We need to find him. There's a nightclub near where I dropped you called The Hive. It's notorious in black market circles. If this Dutchman is running, his first stop will be there. I'll have a chat with the owner. Alright, so we need to get to The Hive, and I got two Praxis points. Man, we're just getting all the upgrades here. This is great. I love it. Now, what do we get next? Cloaking system. Definitely. Alright, so what button do I press to activate cloaking? Uh, I've completely forgotten. Controls, uh, keyboard. Do do do. Activate cloak. F1. Okay. It's fairly easy. Now we just need to get back down to wherever our exit was. I can't remember how many floors down the path was. Was it here? Nope. Next one. There we go. All right, it looks like they're not alarmed Jensen, anymore. Figured you might want to heads up before you stroll into the hive. The owner's name is Tong Si Hung. Tong being his last name. Rumor is he's tied to the triads. China's organized crime lords. How wonderful! Anyone else want a piece of this pie? I'd love pie. All right, so we've got crime lords and we've got terrorist organizations and we've got FEMA. And of course, we've got Jensen stuck in the middle of it all. But this would not be a Deus Ex game were it not for the unnecessary complexity in their scheme. So, naturally, we're going to find out just what ties all these people together. You know what? Screw it. I'm just heading the normal way. This isn't a restricted area, right? Uh, shit. No, it's not. Okay, good. <laughs> for a second there, I thought it might have been, and that would have been bad for me. I think there is, yeah, right there on that rooftop. If I go up there, there's actually a path through a couple of walls that I should be able to take. It's a little bit shorter, I think, at times. But in any case, it'd be best for me to unlock it now. Because since we will be coming back to China later, and I'm going to need to make my way around unnoticed. Now, so if you go through here... Is it here? Uh, no, it's not. It's actually a little bit over. You can take that upper level. But the one one over is the one I'm thinking. Oh no, damn it, Jensen. Where did we land? Oh. Great. Wonderful. Fantastic. You know what? Forget it. I'm just heading back. Forget it. Forget it. I'll if I need to, I'll I'll unlock that path later. Whatever. So we need to go see Tong Si Hung about whatever's going on. The man with the ties to the triads. Ooh, wonderful. Because we need to get everybody up and involved in this. Anyway, we need to go see May. Tell her that the... Like the... X was on him for a second. Let her know that the guy is taken care of. Of course, she's a floor up, so... Or two or three? What was she on? Floor four? I can't remember. Not on two, not on three, yeah, she's on floor four. There we go. Alright, so dude's taken care of, you are now the new crime lord of here. Has Chen been taken care of? At least, I assume you are, that's generally how this works. I planted the drug. I will contact him immediately. Thank you. Just glad I could help. You saved us, Mr. Jensen. Okay, so we get 2,000 credits of payment. We're already almost back up to 5,000, and we've gotten a ton of experience for this, so I count that a win. Anyway, quickest way to get to the hive from here 
is to just go up here and then leap off the roof. Meanwhile, the two dudes just continue eating their food back there. Hey, how's it going? Hive is a member's only club, Lawai. Without a membership card, I can't let you in. Oh, you that's telling great. me I gotta pay to get into this dive? We've got a reputation to keep. Can't let just anyone get in here. Just anyone with the money. No pay, no play. You want in or not? You know what? I don't need to. Maybe not. All right. You can either pay a thousand credits, or you remember that guy telling his friend about how he never pays to get in? Well, there is a little bit of a secret entrance that you can use. And by secret entrance, I of course mean it's a vent. Ta-da! We get into the hive for completely free. And I don't think this even triggers on repeat visits, but if it does, then eh, we can just keep sneaking in through here. So, we gotta find and speak with Tong Si Hong. Who would know where he is, I wonder? You've got to be kidding me. Hey, bartender. Bartenders already know everything. I'm looking for Tong. Everyone wants to talk to Tong. Check the VIP lounge upstairs. Alright, much thanks, pal. Now, let's see. He's a named NPC. He's got to be important later. How the hell do I get upstairs? Stairs back here, I assume? Yeah, there we go. There we go, so... We've just got to talk to... Oh, great, another bartender. Oh, a manager. You should know what's up. You work here? Oh, verbal battle. Here we yeah. go. You could say that. Good. I need to see your boss. Really? Well, I'm sorry. Cannot be rationalized with. Good to know. Sees no one today. Look, I didn't come halfway around the world to take no for an answer. Alpha. Do us oh. both a favor and tell me where he is. Or what? You get mad and tear down a few walls with those enhancements of yours? This place isn't named the Hive for nothing. It's got plenty of worker bees come out of the paneling to stop you. What is it you think Mr. Tong do for you anyway? I'm looking for someone. A cybersecurity specialist named Ari Van Bruggen. Oh, this... <laughs> You Three know, Alpha, I wonder if it's suggesting anything. Never heard of him. What do you do? Steal your girl? Owe you money? He had a job go bad, and now he's on the run from the people who hired him. But you knew that already, because a man like Mr. Tong doesn't hire idiots. And this is the first place people like Van Bruggen come when they need help. So stop wasting my time and take me to Tong. You've got it backwards, boy. You're wasting my time. Van Bruggen is minor league player. Tong knows who he is. He just don't care. He's got bigger things to worry about. All right. We still haven't made a choice in this conversation, by the way. Oh, here we go. Uh, he likes to toy with people using disinformation. Uh, Van Bruggen pissed off someone big. Small timers don't attract this much attention. He's smiling, that's they don't good. Have bell Tower soldiers staking out their apartments. Van Bruggen's pissed off somebody big. And there's no way Tom's going to ignore that kind of development in his town. You smarter than you look. Yeah. Tom is keeping a close eye on things. Like you said, he's no fool. Van Bruggen is more than just a hacker, you know. He trained in counterintelligence. Oh, persuasion level way up. He's got forged identities, secure bank accounts, and safe houses all over the world. I don't buy that. He's already off this island, and I guarantee you'll never find him. Cut to Marcus Brody, trying to ask if anybody speaks English. Alright, so, let's activate pheromones. It's obvious that this guy is the alpha in the situation, and from the way that guy keeps looking at him, he's not just some bartender. You see that bodyguard over there? You're gonna play tricks on the Guaylo, you gotta train your people better. Everything about him is shouting out who you really are, Mr. Tong. Now how about we go someplace private? Unless you want everyone in the club to know what you're hiding. Oof. Fine. Fine. I'll meet you in my office. Downstairs in the basement. The boys will let you through. Cool. Much thanks. Alright, 750. 
We just gotta get downstairs and go to his office. Hopefully he'll be able to give us the information we need. Maybe. I mean, Tong Sihong seems to know what's going on in this town. Surely... Surely he'd know about Van Bruggen. Uh, you're not gonna walk up here, right? Yeah, no, good. I'm just gonna hack this real quick. Don't pay any attention to me. I'm just hacking your security systems, it's fine. Security rating 5, child's play. 15% detection rating all the way around. Oh, there was a clearance there. Oh, shit, nope, stop. Three, two, done. Got an extra thousand credits for it, too. What do we got in here? Oh! DJ Booth. Pocket Secretary? What does that say? Oh, we got a, we got a members only code? And then what's up here, I wonder? Oh. Sup? Uh, ignore me. Sorry. Alright, so I don't think there's anything in here for me. Past that, of course. Hey, how's it going? You were told to let me through. Uh, which way is it? You gotta have some kind of instructions for me. Come on. Oh well, vents. Don't need to take vents. I'm allowed in here. Yeah, no, this is entirely the wrong way. You are terrible at guiding people to their destinations. How dare you block off this hallway and then obviously show me I'm supposed to go the other way. All right, Tong, what's up? So, we got some privacy now. How about you tell me who you work for? Then I decide what I tell you about Van Bruggen. Does the name Seraf Industries ring any bells? Seraf Industries? Isn't that that American company stole all the headlines a while back? You still in business? Why wouldn't we be? Check the news. Biotech corporations seem to be failing a lot these days, especially the ones who are making enhancements. Van Bruggen's in the Alice Garden pods, capsule 301. Place is a rat hole, but it's useful sometimes. Make sure you leave him in the same shape you find him. And if I don't? Your call. But those implants of yours might look even more special on somebody else. Oof. That is not a very veiled threat, sir. Anyway, uh, how's your reading? Filled with experience, it seems. Hmm. Alright, Tong. Thanks for the information. We've gotta head to Alice Gardens. Malik, you were right. Tong is helping Van Bruggen. He stashed him in the Alice Garden pods. That's right. Not as much. A hacker who knows his way around corporate firewalls would make a valuable asset for the triads. I'm at the pods myself, Jensen. Right. Want me to run interference? No. Don't put yourself at risk. I'm heading there now. Alright. So, Malik's not going to do anything hey, dangerous. Leaving already, hey. tough guy. Because you might want to go over to the bar and order yourself a drink before you do. Maybe Bobby will have something for you. Bobby? The bartender. The real bartender, that is. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't think I'll choose that option. Thanks. You do that. Alright, so side quest time. Or at least, we're about to load up on multiple side quests. What can I get you? Uh, information. Looks like Tong. You for hire? Because a suspicious man might not... A suspicious man might also wonder what kind of job gets handed off to strangers. But alright, I'll bite. What are you offering? I got a problem I need solving. Trouble is, none of my... It involves a woman. Oh, goodness. Alright, tell me more. I'm listening. What trouble do you have with women? Tell me more. I'm listening. That's what I like to hear. This woman, Jaya, she's a broker. Highly competitive field in Heng Sha. But without the right skills, her business wasn't doing so. So basically, you want me to be your collector? Oh. Yes. But it's not as simple as that. Not very smart. We don't exactly. But we know someone. Surveillance who networks. Then I go. Exactly. The first relay. Okay, so we've just got to find our way around a couple of relays. Easy enough, naturally. But I think we're going to head to the Alice Garden pods to find Malik first. She's got another side quest for us, and I can't remember if it leads us to that side of town.
Uh, but the Alice Garden Pods, if you remember where we went for that gutter to find uh, the girl who was kidnapped, well, that's pretty much where we're going now as well, except we're not going to be going down in the gutter, we're just going to stay up top where everything is nice and shiny. Oh, might as well get a traveler bonus for experience in here. There we go. Anything on the floor? Ammo case? Strength darts. Hey, there's something I like. Now, just go straight across to the Alice... Uh, hello, gentlemen. Alice Garden Pods should be able to get that information before I trigger the next major event. Because that event does kind of lock us up for a little while, which is fairly unfortunate, but not to be entirely uh, disregarded. Or not entirely unexpected, that is. Alright. So we got a pod hotel here. Oh, harvesters. Jesus. They sound like pleasant people. I could probably lock up that door with those things if I wanted to. But no real need to. Hello, random janitor. And where's Malik? Jensen. There she I, is. I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you I got this one. I know. It, I didn't do anything. Trust me. Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, Where can't are the you drugs? Have secrets? Uh. I can tell. Oh, activate pheromones. Charm. Malik. Jensen, if you even think of using that Casey mod on me, I will hit you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just concerned. That's all. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Uh, that's Years ago, funny. I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then there was an accident. She. She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed, murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. It's I happened just have before. To it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Because Look, you are. Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. Alright, we'll do it. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. Who the hell to does which he'll that? Reply, Riches and honors depend upon heaven. No, seriously. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. Thank you, Jensen. No, he's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengshaw Limb Clinic. We were already kind of there. Name. None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. <laughs> I know, I know. Anonymous X. Anonymous okay. X. Anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's incident, newspaper articles, the police report, limb details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and... Thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen. All right, all right. So, pod 9. We can do that. At least before we head out and whatnot. Um... I'm sure there's a better way to get up here, but I don't care what it is. Alright, pod 9. Um, isn't this pod 9? Oh, here we are. Pocket secretary. Limb clinic. Uh, citation needed. Um, witnessed Evelyn Carmichael on the ground. Uh, 
Li Hong, okay, good name to know. Victim is unresponsive, dead. Suspect wearing a shirt covered in blood, saying that she was drinking and had fallen. Inconclusive data match those of a fall, but there was no evidence of a low to medium velocity impact. Blunt force head trauma. Suspect is clear of prosecution by order of attorney. Damn, that sucks. Oh well. Uh, we also get a book about her apparently falling. So, a little bit of experience for us, but that doesn't really matter. We're gonna play detective. Let's go. Oh, right, that's why I occasionally like to lock up this door. Excuse me, I'm just going to uh, put that there and then hack this. Alright, now nobody can get in. Haha, I am the best at stealth. Nobody will notice a giant vending machine in front of them. So we get a stop worm. Good, we're up to ten of both again. Helps us out significantly. Uh, oh, this room is empty. Anything inside the computer for us? Oh, that's a pretty interesting security setup. But hey, it has treasure, so I'll hack it. Nuke virus, 200 credits. Bad, not bad. Uh, nothing really of note. Ooh, a safe, though. There we go. That's the good stuff. Surely this will have something valuable for us. Ah, uh, nah, stop worm. Access granted. There we go, nuke virus and stop worm. So, net profit, one nuke virus. And 1,015 credits. Damn. Good effort. Alright, toss that out of there. Alright, let's go. Adam Jensen's off to solve a mystery. We'll solve two mysteries. We got that thing for Bobby Bao going on, and we got the thing for Malik. Hmm. Well, well, side quest time. Let's go ahead and complete these real quick, shall we? So, two things to do. For the first, we need to head to the next area. Oh no, this is the limb clinic that we're heading to first. And then we'll be able to head to the Yuzhou district, or whatever it was called, to complete the other two. So we gotta go talk to... Anonymous X. Who's going to tell us more? And he's got a number chat. Oh, fuck this guy. Fuck everything about this guy. Can't you see I'm busy? Go bother someone else. Uh, go fuck yourself. Dismissive, professional, impatient. <laughs> I like the impatient. Let's do that. Nice hat. I'm here for Evelyn's autopsy report. What? Are you mad? No, just impatient. But that's not what... You were supposed to remember and use the correct expression. Gods, what have I gotten myself into? Meet me outside the clinic. Turn left from the front and go down the stairs. I'll be waiting at the corner. <laughs> I know I shouldn't piss this off, guy off, but come on. He's, he's such an asshole. I can't resist. I mean, look at him. Anonymous X, the hat, the stupid code phrase. He thinks he's in a spy movie. Come on, guy, you're in a dystopian future game. Get your context right. You're wrong genre savvy. Over here. Come on now. I'm literally already nice over hat. here. Do you have any <laughs> idea what you're dealing with here? You could get me fired for this. Or worse. You'll be fine. You can stop whispering now. Right. Well Says the man with the eternally gravelly voice. I was told I would be meeting a girl. 
How do I know you're not an imposter or some sort of double agent? Because I knew about this. Don't think I don't know. This could all just be an elaborate trap to set me up. Look, no offense, Mr. X, or whatever your name is, but I really don't have time for this. So if you could simply just give me what I came for, I'll be on my way. Yes, yes. I have it right here. Evelyn Carmichael's autopsy report. Here, take it. Thank you. I trust you will put this information to good use? Yeah. Because accountability and justice is at an all-time low, I'm afraid. Oh, Jesus. It pains me to see this once great city, which stood as a bastion for reform and progress against our oppressive communist origins, succumb to the trappings of corporate bureaucracy and petty Shut corruption. Shut Corruption up. so often typical of your Western governments. Whatever you say. Now, if you don't mind, I really must be going. Thank well, you, Jensen. there is still the matter of my payment. 1,000 credits was the agreed-upon price, I believe. Isn't that right? You lying sack of shit. I think he calls uh, people over to your position if you don't pay him. I don't know. I'll, I hate him, but I'll pay him. And what Fine. were you just saying about corruption? A deal is a deal. Surely your handlers informed you of this little detail. No, my handlers failed to mention this little detail. It, never mind. Just take your money. This report better be worth it. Oh, I stole it from inside I anyway. You it is. Whoever it was that didn't want this information given to the proper authorities paid a lot of money to have it ignored. A pity for them, limb policy strictly prohibits deletion of records concerning operational procedures. For legal purposes, you see. Legal, right. Nice doing business with you, X. Alright, so X is a prick, but he's a prick who just gave us good information, so... Uh, scalp contusion, lacerations, abrasions, no ethanol, no drugs. Okay, so she was not drunk at the time, she was not on drugs, and she had the crap beaten out of her. Asphyxia by seizure of intracranial hemorrhaging. Early stages of pregnancy. So she got pregnant and then she died. All right. Well, um, on that note, practice. Let's uh, upgrade our cloaking system. Malik, I just got the autopsy report. No drugs or alcohol in Evelyn's system. And her estimated time of death doesn't fit Lee's story. She did die from a head wound, but not one that matches the evidence found at the scene. I knew it. It couldn't have been just an accident. There's more. Evelyn was pregnant. Malik? I'm here. I... We can't let him get away with this, Jensen. He's guilty. He has to be. Can you go to his apartment? And do what? Get proof. Get something. I'm sending you the coordinates. Contact me again when you're there. Alright, so we've got to head back to Lower Hangsha, the other part of Lower Hangsha, to complete the next part of this mission to get to Lee, but I think... I'm gonna have to cut it off here. It has been about an hour recording this. I probably cut the video at about a half for you for the previous episode. So, I think that's going to be all for this time. Next time, we're going to complete all three side quests for this area and just see if we can't clean up a bit more of the lower area of Hengsha. Until then, this has been PA.